Hi, my name is Matt Young, and I am the site manager here at the CSS News Civil War Interpretive Center in Kinston, North Carolina. And today, we are in the outfitting section. This section basically talks about how the ship was outfitted for war. While it was built in Seven Springs, modern day Seven Springs, then called Whitehall, the ship was floated in the summer of 1863 downriver here to Kinston. It was placed in a deeper part of the river called the Cat Hole, uh, which now the King Street Bridge goes over the Cat Hole. And they built a coffer dam around it, and they proceeded to outfit the ship. All the things that were needed on board. So fittings, fastenings, um, machinery, boilers, engines, anchors, anchor chains, propellers, coal, the cannons, everything the ship needed in order to function was basically installed here in Kinston. Um, and we were able to recover a number of those artifacts off the ship. Um, now, we were very fortunate in that there were over 12,000 objects recovered off the CSS News. It is the most intact uh, wreck, uh, Confederate wreck, in existence. As a matter of fact, it's the only commissioned Confederate ironclad above water today that's on display. So probably the most prominent thing that we have here is the, one of the original pieces of iron armored plate off the ship. Now, in reality, the CSS News had several tons of iron plate. It was in two layers of two inch iron armor. So four inches total on the outside of the ship over the casement. This is one of the pieces that was missed by the salvagers in 1865. We have about half a dozen pieces that are very similar to this. Um, we think it either slipped off and fell in the river um, or they took it off to get to a vital part of the ship and may have lost it. But these were all recovered from, uh, from the news river. Then as you pan over this way, we have a grappling hook, we have original chain, we have uh, a ship's ladder that may have been the ladder up into the pilot house. And as you look in the exhibit and the display here, we have fastenings. We have an original piece of rope. There are original block and tackle. Uh, we have hinges and doorknobs and locks, all of which are off the ship. It gives us some idea for what was being done here in Kinston uh, in late 1863 and the first part of 1864 before her commissioning, exactly what was being put into the ship. 